Plant lady's here. Yes, indeed. Uh, she's got the sniffles suddenly. You I all right? do. Don't I think cry. I'm allergic to you. <laughs> Not the first time I I've heard that, quite honestly. I know. What okay. you want to talk about? Okay, so uh, vegetables are coming in mm -hmm. producing. So if you don't have tomatoes yet or vegetables yet, that's okay. You could actually still plant tomatoes oh. this month. Okay. So by the end of June, you should be have planted your vegetables. Okay. Though. Okay. Okay. So tomatoes. So mm -hmm. your number one, blossom and rot. Ugh. If your tomato looks like that, yeah. it has that, it is perfectly fine to eat. Oh. Okay. And what they try to sell you at nurseries is a calcium spray. Don't buy the calcium spray because oh. what happens is if your first batch of tomatoes may get this, uh -huh. and then the next batch may be fine. It could be variety specific, but usually what happens is it's a water fluctuation that's messing with the calcium uptake. Oh, so most of our soils around here have calcium. Mm -hmm. Very bizarre for them not to. Oh, and what it is is the plant not being able to utilize the calcium due to water. Our temperatures this month have been a little, you know, crazy mm -hmm. and stuff. So that's a, a blossom and rot. Okay. The next one is cat face. Ooh. Perfectly edible, mm -hmm. caused by temperatures fluctuating as well, colder temperatures, and um, you can still eat it. Doesn't look like a cat to me if my cat looked like that. <laughs> yeah, Actually, yeah. I do have a cat that might look a little bit like that. Okay, <laughs> okay, okay. zippering. Zippering. Perfectly edible to eat. What happens is when the plant is forming, um, part of the plant sticks to it and it's almost like it's scarred it. Oh, so it's okay. called zippering. Okay. Perfectly okay. fine. All right, all right. And splitting. Also perfectly fine to eat, except for if little wormies or earwigs get in there, you yeah, want to check it. That is by, you know, we get an increase of temperatures, plant takes up a whole bunch of water at once, or it hasn't been watered and it's stressed and picks up a whole bunch of water, splits open. Okay. Perfectly fine. Okay. And this is my last one. Do you like that? Oh, that's adorable. It's a uh, chimera, mm -hmm. you know, when it's like just split down yeah, the middle. Yeah, yeah. Anyways, okay, so, um, and I think Cammy's gonna put up a picture of the verticillium wilt, actually. Yes. Cammy, bring us verticillium wilt. Yeah, the first, the first picture. I think, okay, so this actually is fusarium wilt that you're seeing, and I got that off the UC IPM page. And that is a soil borne fungus. Nothing you could do once your tomatoes get like that. Pull them out. There are resistant varieties. And the next one, Cammy, this one is. Verticillium wilt, which is very close to fusarium, which basically, once again, it's a soil borne pathogen. I always know verticillium because it starts with that V mm. right there. Something okay. else people may be noticing is some of your leaves curling upwards. Is that no, because my weather forecast is so cold? It's because your weather forecast mm. is poor. No, actually, it's <laughs> not. I prefer these temperatures, but your tomatoes may be a little confused. Okay. Now, if they're curling down and you notice spots, that could be a virus starting. Oh. Nothing to do with viruses. You can't, you know, the soil pathogens and viruses. Nothing. Done now, so. if you have these little shiny, almost metallic looking marks on uh -huh. there, turn the plant over because you might have threats, which is an insect you could blast off with water, spray neem oil once if temperatures stay cool. So that um, sounds like a boy band, thrips. Thrips. Yeah. You could start it. Yeah, totally. Yeah, thrips. What else you yeah. got? What's okay, up? so squash. Mm -hmm. A lot of people say, hey, my uh, it's producing and I'm not getting any squash. Well, there's male and female flowers, and it takes a little bit of time for males and females to open up at the same time and for pollinators to go. So if you notice a female, it's always going to have the ovary, which is the immature fruit. Oh, okay. I broke this one off, but uh -huh. you could see it looks like a little miniature, you know, zucchini. So all you do is find the stigma. Find your male flower, which is basically the one that doesn't have the little zucchini. Mm -hmm. Take a paintbrush, uh -huh. wipe the pollen. And now these should be open while you're doing it. If they're closed like that, that means they're old. Okay. But I picked them. And then just put it on oh. the sticky stigma. So you can and pretend then, you're yeah. like uh, Bob Ross and yeah. a bee. A bee <laughs> version and of Bob happy. Ross. And they're happy. Zucchini. Thank you so much, Plant Lady. We appreciate it. <laughs> the Plant Lady. Marlene, the Plant Lady on Facebook. You can get in touch with her uh, when she's not here at the station. Yes. Thank you so Simon much. Simon says Thanks. garden on Instagram, even though she doesn't know I follow her. Better follow me.